Welcome on board. In this video we will learn about rule number 2. Rule number 2A In the event of a maritime navigational incident due to the vessel crew's failure to obey the actions required by the call regs then legal penalties will be enforced in a court of law. Let's say rule 14 required both power-driven vessels to alter to the starboard side, but if one of the officers fails to take action, resulting in a collision, then the ship, master, and officer will not be free from a court of law under call regs. A few examples are, master and OOW must always comply with the lookout, safe speed and all other requirements mentioned in call regs. To maintain a proper lookout by all available means the company must ensure the vessel complies with the carriage of navigational systems and equipment on the bridge. Now let's talk about the precautions required by the ordinary practice of seamen. If a vessel is involved in a collision by not taking action as per best seamanship practice, they will be penalized. For example, even though overtaking in a narrow channel is not prohibited by Rule 9, it is prudent or best seamanship to slow down and wait until complete of the narrow channel and overtake. Finally we will discuss on the actions required in special circumstances. Heavy weather, malfunctioning bridge equipment, or failure of the main engine in congested waters are considered as special circumstances that require mariners to take all possible precautions for safe navigation.